Block Nation, welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl Kenyatta here, and today I have another banger for you guys. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do this lock knot ponytail wrap with a three strand infinity braid. So if you want to see how it's done, keep on watching. To get started with this style, the first thing you want to do is put your hair into a ponytail. Just Once like you put you your hair it. into a ponytail at the top of your head, the next step is to create our three strand infinity braid, which will be the part that wraps around the base of the ponytail. So let me go ahead and show so you do how the I infinity do that. infinity braid, you definitely want to start in the From back. From the back of the ponytail, you just grab some hair. this three strand infinity braid is make three sections out of the hair that we pulled in the back three sections just like so one two lock and three. whichever side oh. it doesn't matter I'm going to start on the right this first lock will go under this first section okay over this second section then it will go under this third section just like that now we're gonna wrap around again this lock same lock comes around loops right back around over that first section under the second section okay over that third section it loops right back around like a figure eight under that first section over the second section under the third section and you guessed it it loops right back around over that first section okay under that second section and then over that first section again and it loops right back around that same lock goes under over the first section under the third section okay loops around over that first section under under zoom in a little that bit. first section over that first section it loops around that same lock under over the first section under the third section it loops right on back around like a figure eight and you continue this same stitch throughout over under over under it's starting to get a little short but you can continue around over under over under okay over as you can see here under. the lock has gotten a little bit shorter so at this point what you will do is you will switch out locks so we basically lay this one down okay and we're going to pick up a new lock okay and we're going to overlap the one we laid down and continue the stitch over under okay over coming right back around under same stitch and it's basically going in a figure
completed the three strand infinity braid and I did not do it all the way to the end because we need just enough to wrap around the ponytail. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Ponytail out. Once you take the ponytail out, what we're gonna do is take our three strand infinity braid that we just did from the back and we're gonna bring it around. Isn't that so cute? All right, now we turn it back around. Move the ponytail to the front. Because like I said, we only needed to do enough to wrap around the ponytail. Bring the three strand infinity braid around. And at this point, we're gonna go ahead and take a pin and secure this. One pin will do, but you can go ahead and just add one more for security. So that's two pins. Put one at the top and one at the Once bottom. Once you complete that part, we're gonna go ahead and get into the second part, which is the ponytail itself. And what we're gonna be doing is chunky twists, okay? And the reason I'm calling it chunky twists is because we will not be doing two strand twists using just two locks. I'm actually gonna try and make it every four locks. So take four locks, and we're just gonna start to do a basic two strand twist. And we start off twisting to the left. And we're gonna twist as we twist, okay? Twist and twist. Twist and twist. So that's what we'll be doing for the whole ponytail. I do to create these lock knots at the end of each two strand twist. The first thing that I do is measure where I want my lock knot to begin. I want my lock knot to start here because of course I want it to line up with these lock knots. So I'm going to take out the end, the access twist, and you know that I use four locks for each one of these twists so we're working with four locks at the end of each one of these twists and my suggestion is to take the shortest locks okay take the shortest locks and wrap them around first okay so i'm going to start with the first lock and i wrap and i just begin wrapping upward Okay, just like so. I'm just gonna hold it right there. I'm gonna take the next shortest lock and do the same thing, begin wrapping upward. And we are going to be overlapping the lock that we just wrapped which is why I suggested wrapping the shortest locks first. So, all right, there's still two more locks here at the end, but before we wrap those two, we're gonna take a rubber band and we are going to secure the top of this twist. For the top, I'm going to go ahead and twist these two locks around, okay? Pretty, pretty simple. And we're going to be wrapping up. up perfectly with the 
rest of these three here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching my video I really do appreciate it share this video with all of your friends and family with locks any locticians that you know seeking lock styling inspiration don't forget to hit the like button comment down below and let me know what you think about this video subscribe turn on your notifications so that you never miss a video from your girl y'all know I rock with y'all the long way right you better know it it's your girl Kenyatta here peace